Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Gothic Games here to another video, and today we're gonna be teaching you guys how to make your own game on Roblox using people's models, such as like you didn't make it. So basically, yeah. So first thing you wanna do is go to create new place. Wait, first thing you actually wanna do is go to develop. It's gonna take you to this right here, and you're gonna go to create new place. And you're gonna find what you want. You can either go base plate, flat terrain, village, castle, suburban, racing, pirate island, western city, obby, starting place, line runner, infinity runner, capture the flag, team, FFA, arena, and combat. What I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing flat terrain and I'm gonna be making a horror game. So let's go ahead and go to that. So after you do that, you wanna go to edit. So, so you're gonna edit the game. And this should pop up Roblox Studios. And it'll only take like five seconds, I guess. And this should pop up right here. So first thing you want to get started with is the sky. So you want to type in stormy sky. Mm -mm. Oh, gotta wait till some stuff loads. Or you can type in. If you want to, it's up to you guys. And add the box over here, right in the corners of the game. Right in the corners. And you, you and so this is our basically start off of something scary, very scary. Uh, so we're gonna go to, and we're gonna add, we're gonna just add like this, I guess, to make like a base for everything, make like a little base, I guess, make like a little base. If you can go in, somebody can hide in actually, and stuff like that. We're gonna like some boxes I guess to make it look more realistic like some boxes right here little box right there and you can add a car if you wanted to I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna add a, a regular simple car wait not I'm gonna to make it look more scarier I'm gonna add this I'm gonna add car on fire, so I'm gonna type in car on fire, and it's gonna be like this. So you wanna let it load in, and the car is gonna be on fire, I guess. And this should be where the per person spawns at. What the heck is this? I do not remember adding that. So we're gonna have to delete this. Because that brought too much lag. So we're gonna find a car that looks not pretty normal. Let's try this one right here. Come try this one right here. And I don't know why it's standing up, but we can type in some rocks to make it more look more realistic. To make this look more realistic, I guess. So it's gonna be like this. Nope. This. So weird, I guess, guys. So, so I just wanna like make it go down more, I guess. More smaller. Wait. Click on it. Wait. All right. So I'm just gonna make it go down like this. So it pretty. I guess it looks really. It looks real. Go down a little bit more. And is this flying? No, it's not flying. We're just gonna make it go down a little bit more like that. Make it look more realistic. I'm gonna add our spawn now. Go to model. And go to spawn. And we're gonna add our spawn. And our spawn is gonna be right, right next to the. Right next to the car. That's on fire. And we're gonna add a uh, and we're gonna add somebody bleeding. Add somebody bleeding. Or we can type in new bleeding, I guess. Or if that doesn't come up, you can type in blood. And blood will pop up probably. Or a humanoid like that will pop up and some blood. 
like that. I mean, this stuff is too. This is fine though. Blood effect. Make sure to like this. Blood is coming out of them. It's pretty good, I guess. I'm gonna rotate them a little bit. A little more realistic. Wait. Put them down. Alright, he, he's perfect. Right where he is. Just gonna make him come down a little bit, a little bit more. And by the way, guys, I do not take credit for any of these models. So we're gonna spawn right. The person is gonna spawn right here. They're gonna see the like the car on fire. The guy got out the car probably, and he's gonna be like oh or whatever like that. We're, we could add a couple trees, I guess, if you want to, to make it look more a little more scary. I'm gonna add a couple trees, I guess. Just like place them around anywhere you want to. Just like this. Because this is pretty. It look, just making the game look more real. Just making the game look way more real than how it is. So make sure the trees are all spaced out. You don't want the, your trees to be like all, all next to each other. It's gonna look stupid. It's gonna look stupid. So yeah, this looks pretty good. We're gonna we can use this as a thumbnail for your game. Um, I'm typing it down. And this could be the guy who kills this guy. So we're gonna place the clown right here to make sure the clown works and it actually chases you. So to make sure it works, you're gonna press play. Should be right at the top of here and it, the clown just freaking looks pretty scary, and I don't know why they're crap. So when you go near it, I guess it just kills you. But I like when it chases you. So, so it actually does work, but we don't want to add that because it doesn't chase you. But it kills you, so it's pretty good. But we want to add a clown that actually kills you. So this clown probably kills you, we guess. So, no, it doesn't kill you, it just chases you. But this is will be only an example, so we're just gonna place the clown right over here. God darn it, come on, clown. Move this guy right over to here. We're gonna move him in here. Right here. You gotta add another one just to make it more fun. Add another one right here. And this clown will be a thumbnail. You can add, so, uh, you can add, for instance, you can add guns if you want to. You can add guns, I guess. Try to find some guns if you want to. You can add some cops to to be like at the at the station, like right here, just like this. Uh, this doesn't look pretty good because you see, oh my gosh, about donuts. So you can just add the cop right here, make it look more realistic. Light flashing on the guy, like this. What happened? You can add some caution tape. Some caution tape. Make the guy add right here. Wait, move this. Add the caution tape. That. Make it not stand up. You're gonna click, go, make, click, make it go down. Like, just like that. Add the police officer back to here. Make him go down. Oh, nope. He's sinking into the floor. This is perfect. This is perfect. We're gonna play the game. So we got our car right here. Guy bleeding, his guts coming out. So we're gonna just walk over here and find a way, like find out who killed killed Johnny, I guess. His name could be Johnny. His name could be Johnny. Whatever, whatever you name the guy, it could be. So we're looking 
for Johnny. Oh, and we see a clown. We're running over to the clown. We see another one. He's stuck up the tree, though. We see one. We try to run, and he kills us. That's a perfect game, guys. So, we're going to worry about publishing it now. So, we got to have, um, we got to have a thumbnail for the game. So, we're going to type in clown again. I'm going to look for a scary looking clown. Like this. This looks like a pretty freaking clown that would freak me out if I saw it. And it'll be like that, like this. It'll be looking like that. That's how you make the thumbnail. Press exit and publish the game. And the game is now published. Having the game. So you want to press configure the place and name the place like this. And it'll be like you can name it don't or it can be like warning 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 don't don't play this game. it will make people play it I guess I mean, you can put in the description of the game you can put really scary Really scary and you can buy you can make people like console you want to you can agree to that permissions you want to add your gear types clutch the chat make sure you put both and yeah make sure you press save and your game here is make sure make sure before you do that it's gonna take you to this make sure you inactive one of your places press Okay, inactivate it, inactivate it, activate it, I guess, and like you're done basically. Just wait till somebody plays your game, call up your friends, ask them to play your game with you that you made, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, comment down below if you want me to make another video like this of how to make your own models. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you on how to make a game with free models and it's scary. And yeah, have a nice rest of your day. Peace out, guys.